What's going on bird gang? This is Alan here with Parrots and Co. And I got Elfie, my Senegal parrot with me, chilling in the background today. Let's talk about making your parrot more independent and teaching it to self entertain. Now I know you know what I'm talking about when your parrot is basically stuck to your shoulder or it just always wants to be with you. If you leave the room, you best be knowing that in approximately 30 seconds, you're gonna hear a parrot yelling, contact calling you because it wants to be with you at all times and it will not take no for an answer, right? This is something that I hear a lot with uh, parrot owners when it comes to making their parrot more independent. They're like, Alan, my parrot just always wants to be with me and if I leave the room, it yells or, you know, I'm in its, it's in its cage and it just wants to come out and it doesn't want to play with any of its toys. Well, the reality is we have to teach our parrots to become more independent and teach them how to self entertain to reduce this desire for them to always want to be with us 24 seven. Now it's natural because parrots are social animals. They live in a flock and they don't like being by themselves. So to them, you leaving is like, hey, why is my flock leaving? I want to go with the flock. And this is something that, you know, I had to deal with with Elfie when I first got him, when I would leave the room and he absolutely would start yelling. So let's talk about some tips on how to, you know, make your parrot a little bit more independent and self entertaining So first things first, you want to make sure that the environment for your parrot in its cage is stimulating enough for it to want to be there. So this can be little things that you do in terms of making sure that you're always feeding your parrot in its cage and not out and not out of its cage so it knows that being in there it gets food. Number two, I would say is making sure that you have a big enough space and enough mental stimulation within the cage for your parrot to entertain. So this can be a variety of toys with different textures, right? Sometimes it can be as simple as your parrot won't self entertain because it doesn't like the toys and the environment that it has in its cage. Try a bunch of different toys with different textures and different sizes. And one thing that really always gets Elfie interested in, in trying new toys is when I put some snacks in there or I put you know, a treat in there, he instantly starts investigating because he wants to get to that treat. And working for that treat means having to break down all of his toys. And breaking down all of his toys means putting out energy into destroying things, which mentally stimulates him and he gets a reward out of it. Elfie. You going into snack mode, buddy? Almost got the snacky. You got it, buddy. Oh, you got the, you went straight for the big one. So try rewarding your parrot for self entertaining by putting, you know, snacks or its favorite treats within the toys itself. And just make sure that your parrot doesn't have access to treats throughout the day. Um, and it's on a, you know, specific feeding schedule with the right quality food so that it's motivated to want to forage and, and dig through toys and get treats, right? So different textures, proper environment, different toys, put treats in there and try to motivate your parrot to self entertain. Um, by getting something out of destroying its toys and divert its energy and focus away from yelling for you to come into the room to hang out with it, right? Another thing that's important for parrots, right? In the beginning, you are creating a routine with your parrot, you're creating familiarity with your parrot, you're getting it used to you and you're getting it comfortable in its environment so that it feels safe and secure. But over time, once your parrot reaches that step where it's comfortable with you, it is you know, for the most part, I wouldn't even say tame, it's just comfortable with you and it, and it knows the routine. You wanna make sure that you are able to break your routine and you're not always so predictable um, because parrots are very smart and they pick up on their routine. If when you come home, the first thing that you do, you take your parrot out and it's out until it has to go to bed, what do you think is gonna happen over a few weeks? It's gonna say, hey, you came home, why am I not out of my cage right now? And it, your parrot will start yelling or if, you know, you have training sessions with your parrot as soon as you get home, you know, try waiting a little bit, try breaking the routine, try doing them in the morning so that your parrot isn't used to um, a specific 
behavior from you and it's expecting to get out so that it's a little bit more kind of unpredictable and your parrot just gets used to being in its cage and not having to be next to you at all times. I'm not saying ignore your parrot completely, but it can be, hey, you say hi to your parrot, you go do some chores and do some dishes for an hour and then you come back and take your parrot out as opposed to taking your parrot out absolutely right away when you get home, right? So being unpredictable is going to help in making your parrot a little bit more uh, independent and teaching it to self-entertain with what it has in, in its cage. And on occasion, you might have days where you don't let your parrot out out of its cage for the most time. And it doesn't have to be like multiple days a week. It can just be, you know, once a month or once every two weeks for the most part your parrot is in its cage and it's self entertaining all day and you're going about your business around the house and it is having to self entertain and hang out in its cage um, just so that you kind of teach your parrot to be independent and for those uh, future events where you leave your parrot overnight at a you know local bird boarding place or you have somebody else come take care of your bird while you're on vacation your parrot is getting used to having those occasional days where it's hanging out on its own and it's self-entertaining so that it doesn't absolutely freak out when you're gone for one or two days for a weekend getaway and then it starts screaming or panicking or being self-destructive and it might not be that extreme but you're essentially preparing your parrot for the days when you might not be around for the whole day and it kind of works to break that routine a little bit as well, right? Sometimes part of having a parrot that is uh, independent and that ability to self entertain, it just comes through a parrot that is confident. There's some parrots who might be a little bit afraid to be alone or to be in their cage all day because they're just not used to it. Um, so overall, creating a confident parrot will help make a more independent parrot. And really what we're doing with confidence in your parrot is, you know, Every day we're working to what is within our parrot's limit to expose it to new environments, to desensitize it to objects, to you know eventually maybe even harness training and taking your parrot out to socialize in a small group setting at your friend's house or just getting it used to new environments, new sounds, the outdoors, little things like this, new objects, so that your parrot starts just becoming confident in general and not feeling like it's 100% reliant on you to feel safe. Uh, when it's in its cage. So just practicing making a more confident parrot will make a more independent parrot as well. And last but not least, one of the things that I can recommend that works well is to not give in to parrots' desires, fits, and tantrums because parrots have the intelligence of a two to three year old child. They know how to work the system, AKA you, to get what they want. And you see this happen all the time. Parrots yell, 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 for a reaction to get a reaction from you and then somebody yells back and says shut up bird can't stand it anymore and then to the bird it means oh look yelling gets human to talk back to me i'm gonna do more of this or uh you know yell 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 and then you come over you acknowledge it and then you cover it which is cover its cage to get it to be quiet well that's acknowledging it it learns oh well like when i yell even though i got covered the human comes over, I'm gonna do more of this. So absolutely don't give in to your parrot's tantrums if in the beginning you're trying to teach it to self-entertain and be independent and it's just yelling because it wants to be out and it refuses to play with its toys and just kind of be on its own. My philosophy is don't worry Elfie, you can yell your little heart out, I can wait. I got no problem, I got headphones, I got a lot of stuff to do, yell your little heart out and ironically, um, the more that I ignored his yelling and his tantrums, the less frequently it happened for attention. And he kind of just started learning, hey, if I actually just make a cute little whistle, a human comes instantly, so like, why should I yell? And don't get me wrong, there's occasions where even he can't hold out anymore and he just really, for whatever reason, wants to yell and he does, uh, that's fine. You know, you're never gonna have a perfectly quiet bird. Um, if you wanted a quiet animal, you probably would have got something like a cat, right? So this is the bird life with the bird gang, right? So um, that being said, don't give in to those tantrums. Just wait it out. And over time, you'll start seeing that your parrot will kind of have no choice but to become more self-independent and learn to self-entertain because you're not going to give in to its yelling, demanding for attention. Now, I'm not saying 
that you just should completely ignore your bird because this assumes that you spend quality time with your bird, it still gets out of cage time, gets out of cage quality time, but there are occasions where you can't have it out of its cage because you're doing things around the house, you're cooking, it's dangerous for your bird, and it's gotta learn to self-entertain for those scenarios and instances, right? But uh, that's it for this quick video, guys. Thank you guys for sticking around, and don't forget to check out the free download that we have or that I have in the description section below, the how-to guide on parrot nutrition, feeding, and training slash motivation uh, to really help kickstart that uh, taming and training process with your parrot. It's available as a download in the description section below. We will see you guys next time, Bird Gang. Uh, Elfie and I signing out. See you guys next time.